how you can now play PC VR content on your Quest headsets completely wireless. Let's dive right into it. The Meta Quest lineup has some powerful standalone headsets, and with it comes a mountain of content available through the Oculus Store. But probably its biggest feature is that it is also capable of playing PC VR content while being directly connected to a gaming computer. And first and foremost, this can be done through Meta's officially wired method known as Oculus Link. But the problem with this is that it is using a USB-C cable that goes from your headset directly to your computer. Luckily, there are also many wireless options from Airlink all the way to virtual desktop. So let's break it down and how to set this up for yourself, starting with the most famous one named Airlink. Now, the first thing that you'll need before you can do any of this is a buff VR gaming PC. And even better is if you don't just meet the minimum requirements, but shoot completely beyond them. Because the specifications for what is needed can change even depending on the game that you're trying to play. Where some heavier PC VR games like Half-Life Alex require a lot beefier specs than some other titles. So make sure you check these beforehand. But with this step completed, the second one is to download the official Oculus PC app. Since this is a software that will run the Oculus Link and allow you to play the PC VR games on your headset, which you can check in the headset settings menu. Now with these first steps completed, the third and most vital step is having a good Wi-Fi signal. Because even with the best gaming PC, an awful Wi-Fi connection can completely destroy your experience. So Meta also recommends themselves that the PC that is running these games is connected directly to the router through an Ethernet cable. But with the basics out of the way, let's set up our AirLink on our Quest headset. First, ensure you open your Oculus PC app and connect to your internet network. Then you'll have to enable the AirLink on your Quest headset, which you can find under your settings. Now, depending on which headset you use and what update you are on, you will either find it in experimental features or in the full-blown settings menu. But the pop-up should look something like this. And when trying to turn it on, this dialog box will warn you again about the necessary equipment that we previously mentioned. Now, you can access AirLink on your Quest settings menu, which is available in the access accessibility section on the bottom left of your Quest taskbar. But we are not there yet, because the first time that you open up AirLink, you will have to pair it with your PC. So press it and select your PC from the list of connected devices on the network. And don't worry, this is just a one times only thing. And with that, you should be pretty much good to go. Now you can play your PC VR games exactly as if you are using the wired Oculus Link connection. But there are also some important settings that I recommend you to change before you get started. Because once you got AirLink running, you can switch between the refresh rates that are normally set on 70, 20 Hertz. But as you might know, your headset is actually capable of going all the way up to 120. And if you wanna make these changes, just connect your Quest 2 with your PC through AirLink like we did before, and then go to the device tab in the Oculus PC app. If you click here on the active Quest headset, you will normally get to see something like you see on screen screen right now. All you have to do is adjust the refresh rate and rendering resolution exactly to what you want it to be. And you might get a note that the settings will impact your performance. So depending on how buff your gaming PC really is, you can potentially put so much more quality on your Quest headset. But there is also a second option to do all of this that you might have heard about before, and that is using virtual desktop. This third-party app provides another way to play PC VR content on your Quest. And similar to AirLink, it is completely wireless, with some users saying that it has much better performance. But it is also very different, because this will allow you to bring your computer display directly into virtual reality, providing you kind of with a streamed version of what your desktop looks like, and where you can interact with it without taking off your VR headset. So how do you set it up? Just like with our previous version, you will still need that buff gaming PC and that amazing Wi-Fi router. Router. And you will also still need that Oculus PC app that we talked about before. And of course, along with Steam VR, if you want to play non-Oculus content. But the difference is that you will need a copy of the virtual desktop for your Quest. And luckily, this can easily be found in the Oculus Quest store. Once installed, the app will make sure that your Oculus username is entered into the text field at the app's main screen. Now, after you installed the app, you should now be able to open virtual desktop on your Quest and easily connect it to your PC, directly showing you a streamed version of your PC desktop floating inside your VR environment. And of course, you can interact with it directly. And to quickly get more out of it, just press the menu button on your left touch controller, and here you will get access to changing settings as well as launching VR games directly. Now, Virtual Desktop does recommend launching games through this tab as opposed of the manually option through the desktop. 
And with this easy setup, you are directly ready to go. Now, just like before, there are a few settings that you can tweak that might improve the reliability and performance of your experience. And all of these settings will, of course, differ from person to person, depending on your network or the hardware that you're running. But before we get into that, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. If you are wearing glasses or lenses in your day to day life, you might have already experienced some problems using your VR headset comfortably. Then you should definitely check out the lenses of the company named VR Wave, because with it, you can get your own eye prescription and directly insert them into your VR headset so that you can see every detail possible inside your VR experience. And they have lenses for every single headset possible, from the Quest headsets to the new PlayStation VR 2. And you can use the code FRELITY for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Now, if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, Let's get right back into it. The first setting that you should definitely change is once you've begun your session, head to the streaming tab in the menu of virtual desktop. From there, you can adjust the game quality from low all the way up to high. So if your computer can take it, make sure to put this all the way up because this will adjust the bitrate of the stream image quality. While turning this down will probably give you improvement of stability and latency. Turning it all the way up will give you this crisp, nice looking result. But if frame rate is what you care about most, you can also change this from 72 Hertz to an increased 90 option. But that leaves the question, which ones of these two options should you use? And the first obvious argument that can be made is that virtual desktop is not completely free, where you do have to purchase the app itself before you can actually use it. Where on the other side, Airlink is the official solution from Meta themselves completely for free. So from the first point of view, I would definitely recommend Airlink more. And if it doesn't give you the experience you were expecting, I would still recommend to first try the direct Oculus Link, which connects with a cable from your headset to your PC to give you a much more stable connection, since the chance is high that if it doesn't work on Airlink, that it will probably not have the best performance on virtual desktop either. But if both of these options are not working to your liking, and you need the specific extra features that are coming with virtual desktop, then and only then would I recommend trying this one over the other options. But it is still great to see that we can play PC VR games while wirelessly with no additional cost. And if you're having problems or struggles with the setup itself, then let me know that and I will try to help you out as much as I can. But we also had some other big VR news. So click on the video you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out on it.